That's how I feel. I feel like my sweet destiny and my fate has to do with smelling the feet of royal people. Whether that's aristocrat or bureaucrat or the 1% of the 1% of the 1% billionaire. So that's why I made this video for Melania Trump. I wanted to write you a letter, but I was shaking too much, and I was thinking about instances that I needed to detail in a memo for you, so that you could understand a bit of where I'm coming from. This whole thing seems very staged. Well, let me start by being really transparent in a translucent social psychology, so to speak. This here is all my medication. And I live with bipolar, manic depression, and um, maybe some psychotic congruent features. I, 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 I saw my dad try to strangle my mother when I was age seven. That put me in some type of post-traumatic stress. I was raised around Christianity. I always gave out of what I needed and I gave out of what I did not have. And so it left me with a really deep spirituality for a salvation, for a divinity that I was never taught that was within me. At one point, I was taught that I was made in the image of God. Welcome back to Genesis. Somehow, I, I am left with this responsibility of having to redeem myself on behalf of the sins of Adam and Eve in the garden. I don't know why I have to continue being responsible for that, let alone being on a, a flogging binge in the Catholic Church where I have to bring blood to my back by the whipping I do. And um, I have this real depth for art, for singing. I'm about $16,000 in college debt. Well, no, $134,000 in college debt. And then I live off of credit cards. I'm on disability, so I may be able to get my loans forgiven. Please pardon me for my brow, my, my temple, because I, I have a lot of energy right now that's coming from out of me. But I'm six, fourteen, sixteen thousand dollars in debt with credit cards and my car payment. I would like to provide my singing to your family, like maybe during a dinner or a very special time for the Trump family. And as compensation, you can help me with what needs to be paid down so I can start producing and put my money toward albums and costume wardrobe attire so I could start giving concerts in Los Angeles. Um, I'm working on a PhD in a doctorate in philosophy, a doctorate of philosophy in general psychology with an emphasis in cognition and instruction. Please forgive me. And um, my parents are divorced. This kind of always gets back to my family, which is very fragmented. And greed separated my parents. And they don't give a shit. You know, they... 
they ooze out some love whenever I demand it, whenever I squeeze them, or metaphorically or figuratively bang against their heads to see what I come out of their minds. I can beg and get their love, but at the end of the day, phew, they're separated and one of them reminds me of the other spouse and the other spouse reminds me of the other spouse and each of the spouses, when they see me, reminds them of the spouse. So 50% of me is junk when I'm with one of my parents, but 15% of myself when I'm with that parent is all about them and their narcissism and their greatness of how great they are, so I'm great. But there's always a 50% that's trashed because one of the parents doesn't love my other parent. So when I'm with the other parent, 50% that was trashed by the other parent is now amplified and uh, brought into their narcissism and self-importance. But I feel that 50% that was acknowledged and adored by the other parent is now shunned. So when it comes to love, due to the divorce, I'm like this, you know, being pulled in two different directions. The little help that I do get when I could bring them into my world, when they're off about in their own world, I can woo them in. They can give me enough help that prevents my heart from wanting to go into prostitution or the streets to find a sugar daddy or a brother or a family. But then after that oozing is all used up and they're back to their worlds and I'm back alone, I feel so dead, I feel so misplaced. In Melania, I'm just reaching out to you because I have these looks, this beauty, but I feel below my parents. I feel below what my family wants for themselves, but I can't produce it for them because the people that brought me into the world were mean-spirited and it only put ulcers inside my tummy and only made, me, only made me feel psychotic. I have an impeccable wardrobe. I try to be dapper, debonair, with finesse. I try to be posh, try to be chic, try to produce myself. And I haven't been produced. This is all self-produced myself. And I need luck and I need people that can love me, that can believe the best in me and then not betray me and turn their backs because I'm the ruins of their divorce. I want to be adopted by somebody. I want to be loved by a friend, by a family. And I want to reach my fullest potential. And this is how I feel. I feel like I'm made to be a slave. I feel I'm made to have Trump up and trickle down and I'm at the bottom. And I would like the Trump family to show interest in me and try to get me on a path. Uh, well, I'm not trying to show that I feel sorry for myself. You know, and whenever I am thinking about things that I want the Trump family to hear, it isn't a dark moment. It's never a dark moment. It's a moment of reflection. 
self-realization. You know, with Donald Trump as such a showman as he is, and marketing himself as the giver of giver of givers, I would like to offer my services as a singer, a vocalist, and be compensated so I can pay down some bills so I don't feel like I'm three times underneath the poverty level. Thank you, my lady, for listening. Don't